Critical condition in an Indianapolis hospital after a shooting on a north side neighborhood just a couple hours ago. Overnight, Metro Police detectives have been collecting evidence at the scene on East 24th Street, trying to figure out who pulled the trigger and why. RTV6 reporter Ann Kelly is keeping an eye on the victims and their condition and the investigation. She's live at the Methodist Hospital. Ann? Where Mark and Jade, that victim, a man in his early 30s, excuse me, late 30s to early 40s, was rushed here earlier this morning. Now, dispatchers telling us that man was in critical condition. I know police we talked to on the scene telling us, quote, it was pretty serious. Regardless, though, he is here right now being treated. This as police work to figure out what happened in that neighborhood where he was found. Now, we're told he was discovered by neighbors near Sheldon and 23rd Street around 2 this morning, lying near the road, shot twice in the chest. They called 911, got a medical help right Right away, police then started their investigation. And while it's far from complete, what they were able to tell us at the scene, they think this man was actually shot a few blocks away near 24th and Andrew J. Brown Drive and then stumbled uh, away to this location where he collapsed and was eventually discovered. Now, as far as who shot this man, police not able to release any of that information right now, partially because really what they need to do in order to find out a suspect is talk to this victim. And it makes it difficult when, again, he is here at Methodist in critical condition. And right now, the focus is really just keeping him alive. For now, we're reporting live downtown. Ann Kelly, RTV6.